This demonstration showcases the ability of the Sun Spark Enterprise M8000 or M9000 to have new processor boards inserted in a live running system and have the CPU resources dynamically added for application use. The primary benefits are near zero downtime to replace faulty components and maintain access to critical applications and corporate databases. The system I'll be demonstrating with today is an M8000. I will show how a new CMU inserted into a live running system can have the new processors be used immediately. To see the effects of processors being added, I'll use a simple graphical application called PerfBar. Now you'll notice the blue bars. They represent the individual threads provided by every active core on all active CPUs. I'm currently using four Spark 64 6 processors on a single CMU board. Each is dual core with two threads per core. That's a total of 16 threads where Solaris represents each thread as a virtual CPU. Next I'll generate a moderate load. You can see how loads are spread across all available CPUs. As a side bit note, you will also notice that the bars are not even for all CPUs. This is a side effect of vertical multi-threading or VMT. The second thread in each core is only running approximately 15% of the time as the processing must alternate between the threads in each core. At this point, I'd like to lower the system load by adding more processors. These could be the newest Spark 647 processors running at 2.88 GHz. For this example, I'll use another CMU with four Spark 646 processors. Let's run the add board command on the XSCF. You'll see add board dash Y. Yes, I really want to do it dash D0 for domain 0 and then the system board's XSB number. At this point it is running diagnostics to verify the integrity and health of the board before it is inserted into a live running domain. As this will take a while, let's pause while the system tests the board before it is added to the domain. So let's see how we're doing. Wonderful. Look at that. Finished. We now notice how PerfBar immediately displays the new CPUs and the system load is spread across the larger set of CPUs. Even though the load is more spread out, I'd like to isolate the load to use only the new CMU board I just added. At minimum, this will require creating a processor set and binding all the process loads to that set. A more flexible setup would be to create a resource pool with the CPUs bound to it. For now, let's just use a simple processor set or PSET. Since I assigned the CMU board an LSB number of 10, the processor IDs 320 to 347 are on the new CMU. Let's add them to PSET 1. Notice in PerfBar how the load is moved off of those CPUs because they can only be used by processes associated with PSET 1. So let's bind the load to PSET 1. Well look at that. Ta-da! Now, PSET 1 is running all the load. And because the PSET is comprised of CPUs on the new CMU board, they will benefit from the new speed that board also provides.